Houston and the nation preparing to say goodbye to our 41st president. Tonight, Air Force One is in place at Ellington Field and will take the president's body to Washington tomorrow morning. Also part of our coverage tonight, a moving tribute. The Texans honor President Bush with a pregame moment of silence. And a unique presidential procession. A train will take the president on his final trip through Houston to his resting place at Texas A&M. It will be a week of mourning, of remembering, of reflecting. It will also be a week to celebrate a great American and a beloved Houstonian. The final preparations are being put in place. We have live team coverage for you, starting with our Sion Roads. Sion is live at Ellington Field, where Air Force One arrived this afternoon. Sion, tomorrow's flight is being called Special Air Mission 41. That's right, Bill. Certainly a very special tribute to the late president on what will be tomorrow a very somber event here at Ellington Field. We have video from Sky 2 showing the arrival of Air Force One as it taxied one of the runways here at Ellington uh, Field. They are been, they've been preparing all afternoon for the moment when the former president's casket will be brought aboard Air Force One to head back to Washington. The presidential plane has had a busy 24 hours returning President Trump to D.C. from the G20 summit in Argentina. The president announcing yesterday that Air Force One would be reset and sent here to Houston to bring the late president back to Washington. And the very sight of Air Force One and the reason that it is here attracting several people to Ellington Field this afternoon. We were having lunch and I got the uh, Click2 app on my phone and it showed a a live uh, picture of here and I saw I would love to see Air Force One so we drove over here and we looked out and we witnessed this so and this is history and he's just a, he was just a great president for us God bless George Bush And Air Force One will depart with President George H.W. Bush for Washington tomorrow morning. He will lie in state of the U.S. Capitol Rotunda. The public viewing of his body begins there at 6.30 Central Time. Live at Ellington Field, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Sion.